Hey guys, welcome back to the creating a web browser series and in this series um, we are just creating a simple web browser. So this is part two. In the previous part we just created the UI. Uh, you can see we have our web view. Uh, here you just can't see it. And we have our search bar. And down here we have our favorites tab. So what I'm going to be doing in this part is just configuring the web view so that when we search something it actually comes up. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to add um, a few outlets so we'll add the search bar delegate I mean the search bar outlet but also the delegate and also the web view so this isn't going to work since we need to import web view so let me just do that here web kit yeah and then let's also add the delegates we need so we need the search bar delegate uh, search bar delegate and we need the navigation delegate down here and let's just set both of these to um, self so search bar dot delegate is equal to self and web view dot navigation delegate is equal to self so this is just so you can swipe backwards and forwards in your um, in the web view and it works properly so once we've done that what we can do is we can create a new function which detects when um, so let me just run my app uh, let's just run I'll show you what I mean so it's gonna detect when the search bar button is clicked which is just um, if we go here go to keyboard and it's just when I click this button it's gonna detect and it's gonna give us a response here so to do that all we have to do is search bar search button clicked and now let's get our text which we want um, so text is equal to search bar dot text and now we need to use the Google URL uh, why is this not oh I forgot to create a let so now what we need to do is we need to get a Google URL so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna open Google Chrome and if I make an incognito window, uh, let's just close this other one. So let's say I want to search something on Hello World. I mean, RESK coding. Let's just search up RESK coding. And you'll see this is our Google URL. So it looks very complicated, but most of this stuff after this and symbol is unnecessary. If I delete all of that, it comes up with the exact same thing. <laughs> so yeah. Now, once we've got this, um, it's very simple so you can see this is our host URL and then our queries our queue is equal to um, RSK coding and it's encoded so we're gonna have to encode our thing as well but we're not gonna have to worry about that we can use URL components and it'll do all the encoding for us so if we go back to Xcode uh, here what we're gonna do is create some new URL components um, far URL components equals URL components and we have to set the scheme which is just HTTPS dot schemes equal to HTTPS oh needs to be lowercase um, also have to set the host which is just google.com google oh www.google.com okay and now next things we need to set are the path which is just slash search and queries which is Q is equal to RESK coding okay so back to Xcode and let's just set the path your components dot path is equal to slash search and now let's add in our query items so your components dot query items and this is just the thing here QZIC to our search term so if we go query items is equal to an array URL query item name and that's Q for the key and the value is just our text in our text bar and that's going to encode it all for us and we won't need to worry about anything so once we've done that we just have to load this URL in um, in the web view. But first, let's just print this uh, URL. So 
let's create the URL, let URL is equal to URL components dot URL, like that. And now let's just print this URL, like that. And we should get the same thing that we have here. Maybe a bit different, but it should be the same thing, basically. So, let's see. Oh, we haven't actually clicked this. Let's just click the search now. So let's search up RSK coding in here. Click the search bar, and you can see we get the exact same thing. So it's not the exact same thing, um, but it'll do the same thing when we search it up here. So, yeah, that's working nicely. Now we just have to load it in the web view, which is pretty simple. All we have to do is we just do web view dot load your request uh, URL and this where our URL goes in and then we also just have to allow back and forth navigation which is the navigation I was talking about earlier and that's about it so let's run this now and let's see if this works okay so I'm gonna search up ISK coding click the search bar and yeah there it is so one thing you'll notice is that the search bar does not dismiss automatically but we can fix that it's very simple we just have to do self dot search bar dot end editing is true and now you'll see it works pretty fine uh, so let's just search up RESK coding search it up and yeah it's looking good so I wonder if we can make this text bar translucent I mean tab bar translucent because that will look a lot nicer or we could just change its color but let's see if we can make it translucent so I'm not actually sure like this might not work um, but I also just want to give it a border so I think if we can't make it translucent at least let's give it a border you know uh, blur style let's just leave that and let's see if this looks a bit better because right now the text tab bar does not look that nice um, but I think this is going to fix the issue so RSK coding I can also just click enter and it searches it up but yeah I think that looks a bit better so there's a clear divide between the tab bar and our uh, thing up here so yeah this is pretty good and in the next tutorial I mean next part of this series if we click this favorites button we can just add it to the favorites over here and then we can select the favorite over here and it will load it over here so thanks for watching and i'll see you guys in the next part bye